Hey, Tiger. Alrighty. Quick start. Welcome back to Smart X4. We did the thing. It only took two more waves of Marines. The next wave went down to four Marines and they killed half the remaining crew. Those four Marines. And then they died. <laughs> Marines are temporary. Capture ships are forever. You say that. Also, we captured it on full hull. So actually... What is this going to be for us? Um, I also have my three miners back doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is great. 10.9 million. Definitely worth all those marines. So yeah, I uh, just docked up with it. I got out and helped repair all the engines. And then the repair drones are currently working on shield generators. Hey Gary, how's it going? How's your Sunday going? But yeah, so what, six waves in total? Got to work tomorrow, so middling. I, I, I understand that. <laughs> but today is today. I woke up, watched the highlights of the F1, because uh, there was no way I was waking up for that. <clears throat> I have my coffee in front of me. I have a monster for later. We're all good. I'm going to start with some X4. I uh, cannot collect materials. What? But I launched a cargo drone. No, that's a repair drone. What was that? Where did it come from? That one I can live with. That was the genuine kill. That one? Oof. What kind of missiles were they using? Um, We have that on track. I have money. Oh, I have a little bit of money now. But we could probably get the storage built. Yeah, we'll go pick up some crew. Pick up some marines. Because this will be our new marine transport. Yeah. Like, we'll keep this Phoenix just out of uh, combat of the next Phoenix or something that we find. We'll use the fighter to disable it. Make it simple. And then we can drop marines from this thing. Where did that one go? Did I, did I hit one of my drones? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But yeah, we were little ore miners, dipping away nicely. I guess that is the dichotomy um, of what we see at the moment. That ore miners are constantly selling their stuff, which is great. For a slightly lower price, but that's fine. I'll live with that. Well, that's what we're doing. We went to the shipyard so I can put a paint job on the ship and might as well repair it while we're there too. Also, we can gather loot from a longer range now. We'll jump into it and take this choice and there'll, there'll be an eye at the other side of the gate. Watch it. Enemy 
entering system. A tick bus choice. So actually, let me um, mess around with the camera a bit, right? Because we haven't changed the camera at all. So is it... If I do this... Let's say I want it there, and then I hit Control e Oh. Oh, I see. You do actually get the control of it. Not a huge amount of control, but that's all right. So nineteen ten zero is default. I'm gonna save that there. Already, that's terrible. <laughs> We'll go back to the actual default. Come on, if we go back out of that. Ah, okay, never mind. It sets it from the position you're currently at. We're currently at this position. But then I can change it. Like that. Any specific goals for this or nothing crazy and um, we'll do as many of the campaigns as we can maybe and then maybe I don't know kill the split in turns wipe it xenon I don't know we shall see so then if I do around like this Goes back to where I have it set. Lovely. Jump gate, Argon Prime. And then, can I go right back? Yeah, I can go right back to the actual default. That's nice. Jumpgate, Argon Prime. Yeah, I'm not aiming for it though, am I? I'm going above it. Eon. Entering system, Argon Prime. A little bit of drifting. In honor of the Japanese Grand Prix. Also, I was playing Shogun too until like two o'clock this morning. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, main objective right now is just get some money, get some stations built. Argon Shipyard. Uh, we'll progress the Boron campaign. 
We might as well finish the boring campaign because you get a nice little payout at the end of it. So we can finish that as soon as possible. Do the Hatikva campaign. Um, do whatever else pops up fairly. And in the meantime, um, technically not murder, but we'll destroy the Xenon. Biggest reward to scenes so far, yeah. And not the most difficult mission at all. Or campaign. Like the split campaign, you know, oh, uh, yes, make four billion. <laughs> sure. For a guy that doesn't build a huge amount of stations and massive mega structures, yep, I'll just make four billion, no problem. Scale plate, do you not have docking computers? God damn you. Four billion seems a tad much. <clears throat> um, I'm pretty sure it was four billion, right? Now, I was gonna say it doesn't. It's not gonna paint much of the ship, but um, that actually blends in nicely. For what? Um, I can't remember what the actual goal was. It's like near the end of the split arc. Um, I can't remember at all. Even that, that doesn't look bad. It's subtle, but it doesn't look bad and it'll match my fighter. Oh no, it won't match my fighter because that one exploded. Hmm. Doesn't look bad though either, you know? Simple but Don't need to play the split one. Yeah. Make sure you have four billion. <laughs> These actually look pretty good on this, I like it. Hold on. Oh yeah. They come out nicely on this. Even the Navy, yeah. Not bad. I think it's a little busy for what I want right now. But even that's just simple and effective. I think one is the best. It's actually looking maybe. It's interesting to see the way the paint schemes go on because that is all vertical black and white stripes but there's this one little section here that's horizontal. I wonder did someone put that on wrong? <laughs> For the DHL skin? That one actually looks pretty nice. I kind of like that. Got to factor in that our logo is going to be there. It's the Hagarin style. Wait, Space Dictator? It's got to be Space Dictator. I do like the orange. I do kind of like them.
we can go commissar. How about we go commissar for now? And then we might upgrade to dictator later. There's no foreshadowing there at all. And uh, I don't know if I have any loot on me. Can I help? Here you go. No, I have absolutely no loot on me, but I do have 700,000. I sold the Mako to buy the Marines to get this ship. Um, because I ran out of money. And uh, my miners were, of course, bringing over Marines for me. That's going to cost 700,000 to upgrade the engines or the thrusters. Good on shields. Yeah, we're good on shields. We have our main weapons. Gladi pulses. Aragon pulses are slightly better. And only very slightly. Wait, you have an Aragon pulse on that side and a Gladi pulse on the other side. It costs us three credits. I'm okay with that. Okay, the bolters are better. Yes, wise, not accuracy wise. And we get all of them. Are we looking? We're not looking too bad. Not a big fan of the ship design in X4? It's fair enough. It's not going to be for everyone. Oh, we have a bunch of laser towers and mines. Uh, I'll take the money instead. Yeah, I'll take 874,000 instead. I like deck three a lot, so maybe it's just that it's different. That, that was a thing. <laughs> I should write in Gaelic, but I don't know how it goes. The only thing you know is Amadon. Uh, yeah, just Pogue Mahone, all that kind of stuff. Um, if I grab 10 crew and the rest of the marines, I'll do a quick repair. <laughs> Question, since I do not know a lot of Irish people that know almost, how do you say fake? Say it fake. No worries, Sunimer. So, I. It's actually simplified. I tell people it's fake. It's not quite that. It's, um. The way I have it written is the plural of the word. So, the singular of the word is fake. Uh. There would be no H, so it would be F-I-A-C-H. But I put in the, the plural of the word because I thought it looked better. Which would actually be pronounced Eoc. Um, yeah. Means raven. Um, or hunt. Depending on what way you want to say it. That actually looks, that looks nice. That looks nice. And why is it the name of my channel? It is the last part of the uh, Irish name for the village where I grew up. And the village where I grew up translates into Fort of the Ravens. Bunch of all ring forts dotted around the countryside and all that. Um, we have a minute. Let's 
kill scale play a pact we will be doing that at some point we have to patrol heretics end our heretics end oh i have more money now i can put more money into the headquarters to get that built do that <laughs> So yeah, we have the grouper and the two boys are mining ore. One in Black Ole Sun and one in the Reach because I don't want them all in the one area. We have our falcon docked up. Good to go. I don't want to give him any orders because I can just jump in and out of it then. Without worrying about it running off. I'm not even going to repair the grouper. It'll be fine. You know that mission we started doing two and a half hours ago in the gameplay? Let's go do that. Actually go talk to this person. It's so unlike me to get sidetracked like that. Preposterous, indeed. Well, we're planning to do a mission. We haven't done it yet. Hey, Divine Dow. What part of the update do you like best? Um, The general feel, I would say. It feels like um, a little bit more polish on everything. I think if I went back, this is my problem is that I think if I went back to 6.2 to, to keep going with the MR run for now, I think the game would feel worse to play. Like, it's, this is not a mod, this is vanilla now. I do love the new camera, I will say that. I love the third person camera. I. Still have my issue with it. That one issue that I will constantly remind everyone of. But um yeah, to me it's all the little things. The AI better it seems to be. I've seen little hints that it's better. I haven't tested it out first hand yet though. If there are missiles coming towards me, I want them shooting them because the missiles will be targeting them. And then I'll have no turrets to shoot the fighters. But yeah, even like the, the little movement on the camera and their person, so I'm just strafing now. Even though the camera is moving about, I think you feel more attached to the movement of the ship because of that which is good so you'll see like when I'm going through asteroid fields I'll just start strafing for no reason because I want to see the ship move around you know yeah that paint job works we will definitely get a bright pink ship but we need it to cover more of the ship like a Terran ship after a turn, ship will paint a bright pink. Maybe I want to... So if you hit Control e you can uh, now... I know I'm in travel drive, so it's a little further out. No, I don't want to be there. Leader is dead. Go away. Love the Brigador soundtrack, but those little sound bites at the end. Hmm. See how close this is when we pop out of travel drive. 
I'm not even flying towards the mission objective. <clears throat> as we were looking at yesterday as well, I think the uh, colorblind mode is great to have in the game, and the, the amount of depth they went into to do it is pretty cool. So, and also that just brings in more customization that you can basically change the hood to whatever you want. If you don't want that mission marker to be yellow, change it. You do have to figure out what's what. Okay, that is a bit close. So, it was 19. That's standard. I could kind of... Yeah, go down to about there. And then if I'm not firing directly, I can just go into that mode. Look at the whole ship. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. Because again, it's locked to the ship, so... What difference does it make? It's a little looser. That's even better. Yeah, welcome in everyone anyway. Hope you're all doing well. Having a good Sunday. Unless you're one of the Kiwis and it's probably Monday already. The shaders, yeah, there was a shader update as well, wasn't there? Uh, I'm still in manual mode. What's going on there? <laughs> Wait, isn't the first mission here to, like, attack a... a like, a crappy ship that's just sitting there? We'll test out the turrets. Time travelers? Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. <clears throat> we lost an hour, like, what, last week? Three weeks ago? I blame the Kiwis. Is FPS improved? <clears throat> Seems good. Like we're flying through an asteroid field, which is notorious for doing stuff to your FPS. At about 100. Obviously, there are some systems that are still terrible. We're also within spitting distance of a station, albeit a small station. Nimble enough. Not bad. <laughs> SWI FPS is still bad? Yeah, probably. It will be when it's updated as well. Um, and then just for reference, I guess. Here's my settings. <clears throat> Which class is that? I forget. Uh, I believe it's the Destroyer. It is the Phoenix. The Phoenix E. We may have spent a little time and some human and mainly Boron lives to capture it off the scale play pact. Pilot. Crack. Ah, nice to meet you. My job here is to help coordinate our efforts against the Xenon and given the threat. We're in need of as many volunteers as we can get. If you're here, it means Chris you have been recognized as Chris a Setchfield. Excuse me. We want to thank you for the follow. There is a great need for pilots like you. The Xenon have been a constant threat throughout our history. Many see them as a force of nature, something we have to weather and survive. But the reality is, this is a war. We can't just throw away every passing pilot at the enemy. Any 
potential recruits will undergo a probation period. Each engagement needs to be a victory or they'll overrun us. I'm sure you knew that or you wouldn't be here. Let's get started. Any questions? I'm sorry, what were you talking about? I was listening to the music. There will be a wide range of tasks. Exactly, Terrence Ogre. It's bopping here in the chair exactly like that. A selection of tasks to choose from. You will be paid as you complete your allotted tasks with a potential bonus at the end. Hey Chris, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. It is called Brigador Killers. Did I put it on my list? You're doing good, good there. Brigador Killers. Um, let's get started. Excellent. You will now find tasks related to the Xenon in your mission interface. The thing is, I haven't assigned a captain to this. I'm not going to assign a captain to this. So that I can just have it sit there. Although, is that gate okay? Super highway. I, think, choice. I think the gate might be having a moment with LOD. Get into those missions later when um unknown ship. Hi. When um, we have spare ships and so on. That's just a random artifact appearing on the UI. It looks like it was. Hmm. That's annoying. Uh, there's an equipment dock over there. We might as well nab it on our little radar here. We now have a Taladi fighter and a Taladi destroyer in our Argon run. Things are going well. Not 
the hell? Hey, Grafford, Nint. Um, how's 7.0? Pretty damn good. It is pretty damn good. A lot of little changes to come together to make a very good patch. And then um, a few big changes as well, including with the camera. Uh, again, the new ship design for some of the, the Teladi and Argon ships are very nice. Hey, Namal, can you play? I exclusively play with mouse and keyboard. I haven't known a Hotas in, I don't know, 10 years. Flatty ships are nice. Um, the new Xenon ships are kind of cool. I have seen people board them. And there's a bug with the boarding then that the lights don't work and stuff. But I have seen people successfully board the, the H. Actually, um, who was it we raided last night? Caesar N. He actually had the H. I believe he transferred over his save from 6.2. Curious how the interior of them look. Uh, flat. <laughs> uh, very dark. I, I didn't get to see much of it because, again, he's saying um, the lighting isn't working on him after you board them or something like that. You never know. They might keep the I as a kind of a Xenon only thing, but maybe the K. But again, ever since they did the thing in Rebirth where you go into the Xenon station and hack it, I've always said, like, do a mission like that in X4 where you can go in and hack a station get like an old blueprint and stuff so kind of hoping that's what they're doing with timelines and that also I'm hoping that um, with timelines will it make that available as a modding thing then modders could go nuts on, on things like that I'm very curious to see what they do with uh, timelines um, right for now I think we're going to Silent Witness that's a Xenon over there I can tell by the turret colour their new Needler turret I need to get the goggles. Isn't it Zed? Oh no, it won't be Zed, because that's my um hmm. So like our next missions are to go into Sanctuary of Darkness, which I don't really want to do yet. We could go talk to that gobshite. But I really don't want to talk to him either. Ooh, I could buy it. Oh, that's what I... Oh, okay. I'll do that. Alright, we'll buy a trader. And start delivering to... Um, that ship here. I really want to go fight this. Hold on. Just in case, because... 
just in case. I don't think I need any more justification than that. Waiting for H to come through and beam me to death. Again, pause real quick. Uh, this is the new P. It's also capturable and pilotable. Xenon were very kind to put in a ramp so that you could walk up it. A little bit sleeker than the old version, and I like it. All the DACA out on the P. Come on. Bail. Can't let him underneath us, because that's our soft spot. Love the inaccuracy of those turrets. Eat him, Phoenix. Okay, we're not doing a, a circle jerk here. We ain't doing that. The, li the little movement of that camera there when um, he comes in and out of whatever range they're set to is a little off-putting. Don't hit the Argon guy. Where is he going? I guess he's focused on the, the Corvette now. How many abandoned ships have I gotten? None. Sorry, one. Or do you mean bail ships? We did have a fighter bail, but um, some inexplicable stuff happened and then I wasn't able to take it. I also lost a ship. That's all I can say about it. Man, it's as if the Phoenix wasn't designed to chase down a Corvette. That's laddie thinking. Although it's it's still maneuverable enough, and I don't have the top thrusters on it. Hello. Please tell me a K did not just jump in behind me with that little sh shutter. Go 
Oh, an F. You found one while you were figuring out how to get in. Um, do you have an idea where the um, spacesuit hatches? That's what, usually where it is. A oh, come on, jump out of the F. Jump out of the F. I want the F. Yes, I did try to heal him. the F. Yeah, at least it's not for us. I'm still curious about the uh, EMP missiles, because they really did not seem to be working um, when we tried firing them, like, at all. Unless I was missing something very specific. You're not moving. You're head of a squadron, though. Oh, no. God damn it. Who are you? Defense drone. Damn you, defense drone. Anyway. We're going to slow boat it back towards the station. Another one of the little improvements that really helps is that that is a static defense station. It will always be there when you start the game. Um, obviously, anyone who's played the game for more than 20 minutes and has been through this area knows what happens. So we're going to buy hides. We're not going to pay 1.6 million for it. pay that much for it then we are going to use that on this mission here start delivering claytronics full parts and water all of the energy cells seems to have been provided already it's an important trader because of heretics end yeah true enough actually yeah Actually, I didn't even think of it her at exam because, um, like I said before, the last time I played that part of the storyline, you were still going into Grand Exchange 3 and uh, sacrificing a little ship. Line's not available. Yeah, well, yeah, it was superseded, isn't it? But oh, there's a, a B, is it? Oh, no, never mind. Yay, all the illegal stuff that we can sell in Heretics and. that little kick that the um, camera did. That's kind of annoying.
He shot out a laser there. I'm actually, I'm curious. Are they just... Laser towers mark one. They're just standard laser towers. I need to go trigger some more storylines that we're not going to accept just yet. Or should I? Because they're going to keep repeating their message, aren't they? Entering system. Silent Head over to these stations real quick. We probably will help out against the Holy Order. That could be a thing. We could take the Holy Order space. Oh, that's right. I need to pick up my other illegal goods. If you go into your inventory and dump all illegal goods without the police chasing you down, they don't blow them up. They just let them sit there in a lockbox forever. After the life you find swamp plant production. First time really looking at um, that stretch, yes. Stretching is very important. Especially if you have a back like mine. You would think Taladi, but nope. What about like um, Scale Plate or Hatikva? Have you gone to the Hatikva rep? I guess next thing we need to do is find a scale plate behemothy. Knock out its engines and then rip it apart. Swamp plant production, uh, swamp plant production is 100% Tiladi. realized I don't have a blaster, I only have a repair laser on my spacesuit. Can I not just um, pick up my own stuff?
Large ship hatches are very tricky. Falcon, Vanguard. Oh, space field. Oh, they're tricky to find. Um, what ship are you after? Or did you find it? Mustache. Phoenix E. Docking Grant. Base fuel is scale plate. Yeah, I was thinking. We found a ship called the Odysseus Vanguard. So the Odysseus Vanguard, if I remember correctly, um, its hatch is like here. It's either there or like underneath at the back of the, the fin here. I can't rotate that, sorry, but I'm pretty sure that's where it is. Oh, wait. Oh, that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the hatch is there. It's on top. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's there. Yeah. And uh, we're going to the bridge. At the brig, which is where I went first. Oh man, yeah, I suppose we're taking prisoners now is a thing, right? Like properly. Let's head to Heretic's End and sell all the stuff I just picked up. No, no, don't mind me. I, I was thinking, but no, that's our own crew that bails out. The Ides has not started building yet. Sad? Yeah. Mm hmm. Hey, we slept, Kenji. Where you can sell everyone to anyone. Anyone to everyone? Everyone to anyone. Either works. Quietly making a little bit of money in the background. I do need to give you a manager, I guess. You do the storage, so we can eventually get the um, research requirements. So he wants money. He's in the money. Let's go buy it himself. We'll get teleportation started. It'll be fine. It'll actually, be really useful. Entering system. I take 
first choice. Bit of a drift. Again, if you're wondering, if you tap R uh, while in third person view, they'll reset to the center. Just in case you're wondering where your ship is going and you have forward mounted weapons. Any Boron died getting us this information. I mean, ship. Entering system, Morning Star. Oh, the camera. Okay. There we go. Camera movement can be a little bit off-putting when you're trying to line them up on a target, I guess. But we're way off. I was in Mesa mode. Left my cursor up there, that's what was going on. <laughs> What's the Galaxy Quest when they're launching the ship for the first time? Just scraping the side of the, the dock. Hmm. Right, we'll go sell all this. We'll go talk to. Oh, we'll go talk to the Pisagaris pioneers. It still has not started uh, construction. Vanguard. How rude. Didn't even say hello.
Isn't that the ship we have to kill? The type. We didn't even have any of the expensive stuff. We still made a quarter of a million. That's not bad. It's just going to be really handy for picking up all of this stuff. It's not hard to say hi. I know, right? Especially when it's your boss. You know? Especially when it's your boss. You're still not wearing pants. Can I help? Oh, the eyes is working. Affirmative. Hmm. Falcon Vanguard. He just got demoted. I was found disturbing that they don't get close. Of all the species, the Pilati being, you know, lizards, pretty cold blooded, you would think that they would need clothes in a zero G environment. What well, would be like a, you know, a cold environment? Like, are they heating that whole area underneath that, you know? That's crazy. Um, oh yeah. I shouldn't have bothered getting back into the Phoenix. Cause, uh, go discuss with that guy first. We want hull parts. Start with hull parts. Oh, the wharf's under attack. Uh, that's Xenon, obviously. Um, so if you've never done trading, there's all parts. You control click on anything in this list, it'll uh, set it as a focus and as a filter here. But if you want to, you can go in and set it here as well. All of these menus are here. But if you don't want to see the faction colors, the, uh, the two Aragon are not the best option. You don't want to see the faction colors you can turn them off here you'll just see um oh you can just left click it you are correct even better there you go do you always appreciate the updates because i don't want to give out false information right, we're gonna stick to this area and you'll see this square here is representing what it's uh, using as a boundary so I think it was choice yeah that's fine but can I transport this where oh that's because I selected my station how about we use the transport ship go by them 
and you're gonna sell them here. It doesn't have its symbol yet because it's uh, not built and it's part of a mission. So it's uh, grayed out as well. So I don't have up-to-date information, so I need to get the ship over there first. Or a ship over there. That That is a reason for putting down satellites. Also for buying trade licenses. So we'll do a few hull part runs and that'll bring in a little bit of money and that'll allow us to do Claytronics runs. Because Claytronics are expensive. I don't like talking to this guy. I know he's only playing a character, but the character is not one of my favorites. Oh yeah, we had a patrol mission here. Charge. I am Dr. Rick Feynman, chief scientist of the Oberth and in charge of Project Genesis. Our research vessel is currently observing anomalies and gravimetric shears in this region. How long will it take? We are currently lacking antimatter cells to complete our observations. If you can organize a delivery to this vessel, we'll be able to greatly advance our timetable. Okay, now I'm so they are researching the same anomaly which brought the station over here. Most of the gravimetric charge dispersed during that event, but they brought quite an array of equipment to examine the traces. Let's just hope that this satisfies their curiosity and leads to their departure. So, antimatter cells. Oh, look. Uh, no, I don't want to go. Oh, do I want to go all that way? Oh, God damn it. Yeah, I do want to go all that way. That's fine. Can I hold 10? Yes. Perfect. Uh, do I get... Oh, I have no crew left. Okay, um, Phoenix. Might as well give the Phoenix a captain as well. Okay, I'm sitting in the pilot seat smart um go dock of the phoenix phoenix e let's tell iran there iran e musk should rename him but then I'd have to fire him
go do that, and then come back here. That'll be that. What is your mission that you're failing? That'll be fine. Or is it because I got out of the ship that he's waiting? Yeah, if you were to land on a planet with that ship before you actually uh, touch down, you'd have to rotate the engines back up. Right, while he's doing that, we'll go... Um, Split space. See if we can get a few more missions there. If we could get a few more destroy laser terror missions, that would be really handy. They give decent money, and we can just wreck them here now with turrets. Like the Falcon won't be too long going over there. Wait, wait. Hear that. to the wharf again, see if they have anything. the Paranoid Station still being attacked? No. Very close to the gate, though. We're probably not going to do the um, Paranoid storyline, so we're not going to be bringing the two of them together. So we'll probably just... Um, Deal with the Holy Order. Technically, we'd be helping the God Realm. Okay, I was hoping they'd have a mission, but hey, what can you do? Police, that's fine.
Get him some cargo drones. That'll be fine. He's about to start on the energy cell production when we get more resources in, so that's good. Auto save, a lovely. Entering wretched skies for family Valka. Oh, these were attacked. They wouldn't have held parents if they weren't um, damaged in some way. This is being built. Yeah, it could very possibly be what's going on. No, there's no No, there's no build storage around that. That one does look like it was attacked and uh, a middle section was destroyed. Uh, I was going to say don't do it. Don't mind hitting it, but our shields are now gone, and I was uh, going to say, "Hey, hopefully we don't jump in on a in on an invasion of this system." Definitely not tempting fate. Interesting place for it to get destroyed in the middle there. Loves the aroming fleet. And it was going this way. Hmm.
very complete with provinces adrift. Uh, which is the Falcon. Which can now dock and wait here. You can all see what's going to happen. Oh, my turrets still don't want to target laser towers. I bet that, uh, that trade ship feels real good about my turrets not wanting to attack the laser tower. Attack at once. I thought that thing first fired. Laser tower, Mark One. Amount of effort needed to take down that one laser tower. Mr. Scribbler, thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Oh, look at that storage 99% full. I like that. That's actually pretty sweet. I'd really cop that on uh throwing my turrets as um targetable objects. So then you are going to trade there. Trade with the build storage, of course. Have to do a couple of runs. A little 
little bit of money, and then we wanted electronics. Ouch. Good. Okay, we're not doing the Claytronics, because that's a loss. Hmm. Um, do we run the gauntlet? Oh, wait, 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 crap, crap, Falcon. I was just thinking, where are you going to go? You are going to go that way. Okay. Let's not run the gauntlet, let's just fly back towards the sin. We'll meet the Falcon on the way and then we'll go, um, we'll probably just let this thing sit. We'll go continue the missions. I think we have to go to the void. 